everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about why it is important, in my opinion, to have more than one budget ready to go. Let's get started. This is actually a requested video. I know we've spoken about this many times, but whatever money that you have coming into your household a month, it is up to you on where that money goes and how it gets spent. Like I said, there's some people that have more of a standard budget, some people live frugal, some people live bare bones, some people live a combination. No matter what budget you're on, it doesn't mean it has to be for long term. We can always change things up and reallocate. I'm going to give you three ideas of three different budgets. This is not uh, from me. This is somebody. This is just a made up person. And this particular person, we'll name this person John. John, after taxes, brings home $3,500 a month. John has a $5,000 credit card debt. And the reason why John has a credit card debt is because sometimes he is with his income after he spent it all, he doesn't have enough to allow for, oh, I need two new tires on the car. I need a car repair. Oh, a dental appointment wasn't covered by insurance, that type of thing. And so he ends up having to put it on his credit card. I'm going to go over what his current standard budget is. Then I'm going to go over his frugal budget where he's saving some money. And then I'm going to go over bare bones. And I'm going to tell you how much John has left over at the end of the month. And this is just, like I said, a make-believe budget. But it at least gives us some ideas. I know that I am way more frugal than I was three years ago. But I know I can always improve. And I know I say this to you guys all the time. You can either cut expenses, make more money, or do a combination of both. I actually like the combination of both, but I do have to agree, keeping your bills on the lower side is really good, especially if for some reason you do lose your job and the next job you're not making as much. And I know a lot of people that that's happened to where maybe they were making 50000 they were out of work for six months, they had an emergency fund, but their new job, they're only making 35000 and maybe what their current budget is was off the 50000 That's why it's important to live below our means. So let me start with the standard budget that John is living on. So John lives out on his own. His family does not live in town. He does have a career. His rent, and he makes 3500 a month after taxes. His rent is $1,000. His electric and water are 100 Cell phone bill, $100. Cable, TV, internet, 150 his car payment's $400. Health insurance with life insurance is $100 a month. He spends $100 on gas, $130 on car insurance. He spends $300 a month on groceries because, you know, he likes convenience foods and he doesn't like to cook a lot. And he, you know, stops and picks things up and he just picks up whatever he wants without looking at prices. His entertainment, which would be going out to eat, movies, anything, going to the bar, nightclub, whatever he might want to do, he spends about $300. Miscellaneous could be clothes, it could be anything, just anything he wants to buy. It could be a game. He likes video games, for example. He spends about $500. So John has $320 left over, and he's, he's is putting some of that towards his credit card, but he figures that is not enough, and it's not getting his credit card balanced down quick enough. So he says, you know, I'm going to save some money, so I'm going to go to the frugal budget. Rent, you know, he's not able to live with his family, so he spends $1,000 a month on a one-bedroom apartment. Electric water, he's still spending the same 100 His cell phone, he figured he doesn't need as much data, so he cut his data plan down. Still with the same cell phone provider, he's spending $80 a month, so that saves him 20 Cable TV and internet, he doesn't want to cut all out all of the cable TV, so he slashed some of the programming, like some of his sports channels. And so now instead of 150 he spends 100 And car payment, still 400 because he's got to get to and from work. Health insurance and life still a hundred. Gas still spending a hundred. Car insurance he's staying with the same the same company a hundred and thirty. Groceries he made just a few changes. He's basically just shopping once a week, but he's still buying convenience foods. He spends about two hundred and fifty a month on groceries. Entertainment he thought you know what I'm going to cut back on a little bit of my entertainment, so I'm going to give myself a budget of two hundred. So he's basically spending two hundred. Miscellaneous. He, he cut his expenses 300 a month for that, and now he's only spending 200 so he's not doing as much shopping and buying as many things. So leftover money is 840 Much better, and he's feeling good about it, but he really wants to get become debt-free. Now, he still has that car payment, 
but he does have to get to and from work. He has a really good car. It's, it's a new car. He does not want to sell it at this point. And he sometimes, you know, he is a little ways from work, so he is not willing to get rid of that, but he doesn't want to have the credit card debt. So now we're going to go to bare bones. And mind you, with the bare bones, he could even go more frugal than this. But remember, he wants to have some quality of life. So let's go again with this. Rent, $1,000 a month. Electric water, he's decided he's not taking as long as showers, shutting lights off. So he got his electric bill down $10 a month. So he's spending $90. Cell phone, he decided to change cell phone providers. And now he's only paying $50 a month for his cell phone, unlimited talk, text, and data. Cable TV, he decided, you know what, I can better use, use my time and use my internet for entertainment. So I'm going to cut out all the cable TV and just have internet. So he spends $50 a month for internet. Car payment, he still has to pay the $400 a month for car payment. Health insurance is $100. Gas, he's not driving around as much. He hasn't cut a lot out, but he's spending about $80 a month on gas. Car insurance, he found a little bit better of a deal, and so he found car insurance because he does have a good driving record for $100 a month versus $130. Groceries, he's now doing meal prep. He's taking one day, instead of going out to the nightclubs and going out to eat and entertaining, he's spending one day a week doing meal prep for the whole week, and now he's only spending $200 a month. Entertainment, he doesn't want to cut out all going out eating, eating and going out to movies and such, but he's taken his entertainment from $300 to $200 to now $50. This way he can eat a couple meals out, go to a movie, and have something to look forward to. But guess what? One month he didn't do that all at all, and he took that $50 and put it towards his credit card. Next, miscellaneous. He's allowing himself $100. So leftover, he has $1,270 a month left over. So what he's decided to do is take... A thousand of that and put it towards his credit card and the 270 he's putting in kind of an emergency type fund so that way if something goes on with his car he needs a new tire or battery or something he has some money to fall back on so as you can see pretty soon here in about you know less than six months he'll have that credit card paid and then by that time he can really build his savings and build his investments this is just one example we can't change the past and maybe we're not ready to make rapid budget decisions, but remember, every little small manageable step we can make can make a big difference. And when you start seeing results in some of the things you're doing, it gets you excited, and then you want to see what else you can do to improve. But I always recommend starting out small. That is just in my personal opinion. So this is just an example of a budget. If you have any feedback on this, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I have to say for now. And soon I'll be showing you a revised budget of our family. That's all for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.